it's, it's fascinating, isn't it, when people, when you come across either books or experiences that uh, change the direction of your life or uh, take you in a direction you didn't expect it. Like you could have done all the goal setting and planning, um, you know, it, for the you know, for all the world to see and do, but in reality, it was going out and doing things and reading that really led you to where you are today, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think yeah. I think that process of um, of making things and just making making something happen, doing doing something. I think so many people get hung up on whether or not they've got the right idea or not. They want to start a business, they want to be an entrepreneur, but they're not quite sure what to do so they don't do anything and i think that's that's the worst possible thing to do um where if you do something something will come of it it's just a matter of what yeah i totally agree with you um a lot of people and a lot a lot of people are perfectionists and you know want to get it just right so or uh, so they want to get the plan just right the reality is that the plans we make often don't work out at all how can you predict the future that's essentially what you're trying to do yeah and uh, what you said too regarding just going and doing something i find is really really important there's magic in the motion and um, i for me too i've mentioned it before in past podcasts but um, i was a teacher and hated what i was doing yes i had a degree so i got my degree it was political science and i was a teaching degree in ba and i did a bit of theology along the way as, as part of that ba but the for me i went and tried three different I discovered I love sales, so then I went and tried three different types of sales jobs and one happened to be in the tech industry, which I went, wow, there's something going on here. And my life has never been the same since. So, all right, so let's go forward a little bit to um, you did your science degree, then you moved on and uh, did a, another degree in Hong Kong. Is that correct? Yeah, well, that, that was the that was my kind of final year at university. So, um that was yeah that was just a, a semester abroad that i did uh in hong kong uh which is where i happened to meet my wife which is why i now live in vancouver in canada um, so that was kind of the circuitous route that i i took along the way yeah and um yeah but that was it was after university that i began my career in advertising and then um and that's where i was my my goal really in my i guess young 20s was to climb that corporate ladder in the advertising world yep. and and that's what I did for for 10 years I well, in fact it was more than that but I I was in the ad world of advertising and marketing within digital um, but I kind of just focused on learning learning the trade learning the craft and really with the all around me in the world of advertising people were kind of doing things on the side um, and for me, that was super interesting. I was constantly inspired by people's ideas and their side hustles that they had going on. And so I kind of saw it as a great preparation and training ground for whatever was next. I wasn't quite sure what it was. Probably at that point, I thought maybe I'll start my own agency. But um, I, was, I was just there to absorb and uh, be around creative, smart people um, doing interesting things, which is what we were doing in the world of advertising. We're helping helping sell things, uh, we're helping communicate things clearly, and just being amongst designers and developers, um, creative people, strategists, is a great place to be um, for someone who loves ideas and making things happen. Mm -hmm.